Hello, you're listening to eBible Fellowship's new open form excerpts, and now we present the following excerpt. Welcome to our open forum program. Please go ahead with your call. Uh, Mr. Magan, if you could go to Joel chapter 3, verse 1 and 2, please. Joel 3, 1 and 2. For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. Yeah, I was just wondering if it has not anything to do with uh, 2 Chronicles mm. chapter 36, verse 23. 2 Chronicles 36, 23. Thus saith Cyrus, king of Persia, all the kingdoms of the earth hath Jehovah God of heaven given me, and he has charged me to build him a house in Jerusalem, which is in Judah, who is there among you of all his people. Jehovah his God be with him and let him go up. Well, Cyrus, we know, is a type of Christ, um, and, and he was the king of the Medes and the Persians. The Medes and the Persians uh, were dividers, or, or definitely the Persians, because the name um, Persian or Persia means to divide. Um, and, and when Cyrus took the kingdom of Babylon, it was after 70 years of Judah's historical tribulation from 609 B.C. to 539 B.C., and then in 539, Babylon fell, and the Medes and the Persians took the kingdom of Babylon in one night, uh, which is remarkable when we read of uh, a lot of battles in the Bible, uh, you know, especially a city, and Babylon was a great city. Um, they're laid siege to. The, the enemy army compasses the city, and they cut off the food, try to cut off the water, and they wait them out. They starve them. And, and so it's months and months, maybe even a year, year and a half, two years, before the city surrenders and, and falls. But Babylon was taken in a night. God gives us the account. In Daniel chapter 5, they were having a party, eating and drinking, as the Lord warns about uh, the people uh, before the flood or the people in Sodom and Gomorrah, eating, drinking, uh, making merry. They were having a party, and and then in that night was the writing on the wall, and the king of Babylon uh, was fearful. He knew uh, something within him was telling him, this is bad, this is wrong. His knees were knocking together. And finally, the queen came and told him about Daniel, and Daniel was called and interpreted the writing, the revelation of God's righteous judgment, as Romans chapter 2 tells us, in the day of wrath, Romans 2, 5, and revelation of the righteous judgment of God, our present time period. In other words, God continues to open the scriptures, continues to reveal the mysteries, the hidden things, into the day of judgment. That was the point. That was, uh, we could equate that to May 21, 2011, judgment day. It was the end, the 70-year historical period, a picture of the Great Tribulation. So the end of the 70 years was akin to the end of the 23 actual years of Great Tribulation from May 21, 1988 through May 21, 2011. Satan, typified by the king of Babylon, was ruling. He was triumphant, just as Babylon was triumphant the entire 70 years historically. Then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, immediately after the tribulation, no delay, Christ comes. And he comes to judge the world, and he takes the kingdom of Satan, the nations, on that day. 
And since that time, the writing on the wall, we, we've come to understand it. We, we have understanding. And what was one of the things that was written on the wall? Well, I'll read it in Daniel. In Daniel chapter 5, we find, and this is amazing to me, in Daniel 5, in verse 24, then was the part of the hand sent from him, and this is Daniel interpreting, and this writing was written, and this is the writing that was written, many, many tekel ufarfsen. This is the interpretation of the thing. Many, God has numbered thy kingdom and finished it. Tekel, thou art weighed in the balances and art found wanting. Perez, and that's the word for Persia or, or the related word to Persia or Persian. Perez, thy kingdom is divided. Perez is the same Hebrew word as divided. In other words, they're the same word in Daniel 5.28. Perez, thy kingdom is Perez, or thy kingdom is divided and given to the Medes and Persians. Then commanded Belshazzar. And they clothed Daniel with scarlet and put a chain of gold about his neck and made a proclamation concerning him that he should be the third ruler in the kingdom. In that night was Belshazzar, the king of, Cal of the Chaldeans, slain, and Darius, who's also called Cyrus, the Median, took the kingdom, being about threescore and two years old. The interpretation, your kingdom is divided, writing on the wall at the time of Babylon's judgment. A house divided cannot stand, a kingdom divided cannot stand, and if Satan be divided, he cannot stand, but has an end. It's the end of the world. That's what we're seeing. That's what we're witnessing with the worldwide division within the nations. It, it's it's um, the people of the world divided against one another because Christ is a judge and divider. He is a Persian. He is Cyrus, who came, Cyrus historically, we'd have to say, like a thief in the night. Again, amazing that he took the kingdom in one night. It didn't take a long drawn out siege at all. Uh, and that's how Christ came suddenly, sudden destruction, May 21, 2011, and, and the world has fallen. Thanks for watching and be on the lookout for more new open forum excerpts that will be added periodically.